Next is Bam Bam Bigelow uh, from Val. Hey again, guys. Haven't heard you guys speak too much on Bam Bam Bigelow in his time in WCW. He was there from the end of 1998 until the close. Any stories on him? How was he backstage? Val, I think we've spoken, if you've listened to this podcast before, um, we do not give general stories on, like, if you have a, if you have a Bam Bam Bigelow story that you've heard, I want to ask us about it. Like, we'll, we'll talk about Bam Bam Bigelow. But, you know, any stories on him? How was he backstage? That's far too generic for us to answer a, a mailbag question for. Because if everybody asks that, hey, what do you think of Macho Man? What, what, what do you think of Luger? You know, bro, we, we, we could, this, this podcast is going for hours. you got to be specific, right? <laughs> uh, the next one's from Matthew Hansen. And the subject is round robin. What was robin. the question? The, the guy, here was, here was a question. Yeah. Um, so I talking about Bam Bam Bigelow. And the question was, here's his question. Any stories on him? How was he backstage? And I said, bro, we've spoken on this podcast before. If you're going to talk generally, ask a general question about that, we're not going to answer. If you heard a story about him and want us to verify it or ask specifically about a certain story, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. But just generic, like, any stories on him? How was he backstage? That's the, that's, I would agree with that, but I will give you a little Bam Bam story real quick. Let's hear it. I was always a big Bam Bam fan from WWE because that cartwheel and the... Right. tattoos and just he was so agile and charismatic i was a big fan of his and we did a three-way match me him and chris jericho at the antonio inoki peace festival which was held in la and at that time he was a way bigger star than i was but i was probably hotter than he was in la and i went over in that match and i was totally expecting for him to act like a diva and be a d- about it and he was and he was very professional and he put me over clean so i always had mega respect from just like when i got the wcw uh they had bobby eaton put me over uh but this is this isn't eric bischoff this is when like ole anderson was there it was still nwa and bobby eaton was bobby eaton i was just a nobody and they were like yeah can you put this guy over bro he never met me he didn't know who the f- i was most of the guys did not want to work with me or put me over and he was like, yeah, what do you want me to do? And he went in there and he was such a professional. And I was always so glad that years later, we were in Huntsville, Alabama, or somewhere in Alabama, and Bobby Eaton was there. You might have been on that show, Disco. Mm-hmm. And it was I never forget this. It was like a house show, a house show. And Bobby was there. And Arn came up to me and he goes, hey, man, you know, I know you're really hot right now. And I was hot at that time. He goes, would you mind, you know, doing the favors for Bobby and I was bro, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it for him. You know, I was more than happy because he was such a pro. You always remember right. like that. He's a legend too. Right. And then here was the other thing, Bam Bam. This is the other thing I'll remember it for. He's the first guy ever to give me mushrooms in a <laughs> WCW bathroom. And I was super f-ed up and he was like, Hey man, but he was real. He was like, Hey, how you doing? How's it feeling? Do you like it? You know, like tastes like, but man, what a crazy <laughs> trip! Yeah, Next that's my Matthew- bam bam story. <laughs> nice. Next is from Matthew Hansen. It's kind of a weird question. Mm-hmm. Round robin elimination matches. The subject. Hello, guys. Have you guys participated or booked any round robin matches? Basically, three guys in the match, but you have a one on one match <laughs> with the third guy waiting to take on the loser. Whoever drops the fall would continue to face the fresh guy until they lose twice. For example, Disco beats Joe. Conan beats. Then beats Joe. Then Disco and Conan have a two out of three falls match. Conan, do you think this could work as a new kind of stipulation in the U.S. Mexico? If this isn't really a match that's been done much of, thank you, Matthew and Des Moines. Uh, no, I'm not a fan of this, Matthew. This is just okay. Well, this- I just mentioned that I just had a match kind of like that with Bam Bam Bigelow and Chris Joe, and I don't see your logic. If Disco beat Joe, why would I have to beat him? You know, Joe's eliminated at that point, and then it should just be me and Disco. But either way. I'm not a big fan of those matches. We don't do those much in Mexico, not to say we wouldn't in the future. 